You go to the doctor, and you hit your knee with a little rubber hammer. You get that kick, a reaction, everything's normal. You believe in teal and black, you get a similar internal response with the word London. It's a subconscious fear. It's always lingered, even if it's half-heartedly. Growing up in Jacksonville, I never really felt as if the Jags were always 100% present. In 2009, all but one game was blacked out. I remember thinking, was there something wrong with my TV? Why can't I watch the games? For a diehard fan, it might not have been an issue. You had season tickets, you'd see them through wins and losses. But even now, they are exiled. Six home games in 2020, as many or less than all college teams who will play four less games in a season. Heck, Florida or Georgia may win more games in this city than the product provided on the field by the Jags. And that seems to be the thing that we turn to here. The front office mentions that winning won't cure everything. I guess that would be hard for them to confirm since the record is 38 and 90 since this ownership group took over. Success would disagree since 08, the highest attendance at TIA Bank came from the encore of an AFC title game run. The quote this week was that to succeed in a market like Jacksonville, they'd have to think unconventionally or have a different playbook. The smallest market in the NFL isn't Jacksonville, it's Green Bay, the only team in the NFL yet to pay a visit to the Queen. They have a playbook. It's actually worked for a pretty long time. Today, the team and city addressed the fears of the fan base with words. We want to keep the Jaguars in the area. Let me remind you about words. In January of 84, after publicly flirting to move the Colts out of Baltimore, owner Robert Ursay told the press, I haven't any intention of moving the team. January. The team loaded Mayflower trucks in the middle of the night in March. Colts have been in Indy ever since. Like a lot of what we've seen on the field from the Jags, Promises that we're not really sure we can trust. Look, I understand it's difficult to win in this league, but it's been 25 years, and now they're taking 25% of their home field advantage away. The Jaguars will profit short-term cash-wise from this move in London, maybe a little over 10% of the season revenue, but at what cost? There's still no shovel in that lot we fantasize over. However, that knee-jerk reaction from the little hammer the front office just hit the fan base with might end up kicking them in the end.